this demonstration we're going to look at configuring data deduplication. The purpose of data duplication is to save me disk space by storing like type blocks just the once. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to come into our server. We're just going to add some roles and features. Then we'll select our next button. On the installation type we're going to go for role based or feature based installation. On the server selection we'll select our server. And then what we want to do on the server roles here is we just want to come down to our file and storage services and expand this up. Then what we want to do is we just want to come to our file and storage services and file and iSCSI services. And then what we want to do here is we just want to enable data duplication. We'll add the additional features. And then once we've done that, we'll select our next button and select our install button. After coming through, we don't want any additional features. So this is going to take just a little while just for this to install. So at this point here, what we'll do is we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the installation is complete. Now the installation is complete, we'll just select close. Next thing to do here is just come to our server pane here, just go for our file and storage services. Then we'll select volumes. And then just right click on the E drive. And what we want to do here is we just want to enable our data duplication. So we'll come down to configure data duplication. We'll just select the drop down and we'll go for a general purpose file server. And duplicate files older than three days. Yep, we're happy with that. We then just come to set our deduplication schedule. We then just enable throughput optimization. Do that all the time. Specify 2 a.m. Not going to bother creating a second schedule for throughput optimization. We're just going to create this one. So we've got a duration of six hours. That should be out of hours in the case of our organization. Now that we're happy with all of that, we can click OK. And then click OK. And we've now configured the duplication. So now we've enabled it, let's test it. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to come into a Windows file server here. And what we'll do here is we'll just find some documents on the E drive. So we'll go for our group policy preference document. And what we'll do here is we'll just right click and copy. And then what we'll do here is we'll just paste it in the lab files folder. And if we just have a look at this, let's just have a look at the properties. So what we can see here is we can see that's uh, 5.33 meg. And if we just have a look at the root V, have a look at the properties. Yeah, same size. So that's fine. So now what we'll do is we'll just launch a PowerShell. And then within PowerShell, what we'll do here is we'll just start the duplication job. So to do that, we're just going to do start hyphen dupe job hyphen type space optimization space hyphen volume space equal on we'll hit our enter key so we can see that's now queued next thing to do is we'll just make sure that the job is processing so we'll do that with the get hyphen dupe job So as we've got no result back, that means the job is now complete. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just have a look at the properties on the documents. So what we'll do here is we'll just go back to Windows Explorer. And then within Windows Explorer, if we just right click, have a look at the properties. What we can see here, size on disk is now zero bytes. So that proves that deduplication is indeed working. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.